Kyle here at VAE Network, and we're here at Love Long Beach Festival here in California, right out on the water. We're gonna go hang out with some goddesses today. You should come with us. It was a beautiful day of fun in the sun, and of course, goddess workshops were happening, women's circle, but that's not the only reason we came out today. You're probably wondering why I brought you here, given that there's so much tragic news and important debates going on right now in the country, but the reason is to remind you that having fun and taking time out of your life to play is actually just as important for your overall well-being. We're not just here to work and pay bills and worry about the economy and die. We need to remember what it's all for. You know, you're here to enjoy yourself. Don't be afraid. A lot of us feel afraid or guilty about having fun. So I'm just here to remind you that having fun and connecting with people is one of the most powerful ways that you can raise your energy, have more energy to give, feel better, raise the vibration of the planet, and also help create the world that we want to see that's more joyful and fun and connected. So don't be afraid to play. That is the rule of the day. Now let's go hang out with some goddesses. Hello! I am here with the Priestess of Play. And this goddesses, is Sandra. Goddesses Hello. of Gaia. I'm Sun Dancer. Goddesses of Gaia. Goddesses. We are here with Goddesses of Gaia. Hello, ladies. Hello. 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 Goddesses of Gaia is a, a sisterhood. It's a bonding of a tribe of women that hold space together for healing for themselves and for Mama Gaia, the earth, the planet. We come together in sisterhood and we share wisdom. We share our gifts. We hold space for women to really come together and realize their goddessence, their truest potential as natural authority shamans of the earth. Oh, that's good. So one of the deepest intentions for me in starting Goddesses of Gaia is to remind everybody that we are the gods and goddesses of Earth, that we already are in heaven, on Earth. And so with each gathering, it, we really hold that vibration of just like, we're whole, cool, we're perfect, we're divine, and every person that I interact with, I just really hold that intention of like, I hope, I hope that you feel loved, I hope that you feel seen, I hope that you feel honored when you come to our gatherings because we are all family. We're all soul tribe. You are a goddess. 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 And the more that we can be in that essence and remember our divinity, it's like, you know, life doesn't feel so heavy anymore. What I'm finding really incredible about this entire movement, this entire goddess consciousness, is that it is not centrally located in one place. I'm finding women's circles popping up everywhere because collectively we're waking up. And by the sheer nature of the feminine essence, we collaborate. We don't compete. We urge each other to grow. We create platforms together that are cooperative, communicative, collective, and totally sharing. And that like is probably the most juicy kernel about feminine-based spaces, this goddess movement, this like revival, is that we have enough. We have enough to share, we have enough to eat, we have enough to give, we have enough to teach each other so that we can all elevate. I think it's so incredible and important that like we have a group of women surrounding us. It's like goddess energy to hold, to know that you have people like holding that space around you. Just this group of beings inviting everyone in to play games and beautify and drink tea and just spread love and knowledge. So a lot of men see the rise of the feminine that we're seeing now with all these goddesses everywhere um, and they maybe get a little bit nervous. So yeah. I just wanted to see what the goddesses take was on this like worldwide rise of the feminine that we're seeing and how that balances with the masculine. The patriarchal rule lasted about 2,000 years or so. Before that was a matriarchal rule. 
There's been a, a transformation of this planet from the 3D world to the 5D. And in that time and space, in order to heal Mama Gaia, our Earth, our home, in the 5D world as heaven on Earth right now, we are in need of healing, right? So we are the caretakers. Naturally, we've been born with a womb that births ideas, it births human beings, and it births whole new worlds. This time in space right now, the women are coming back to balance out the energies on Earth, to dissolve away ego and competition. We're here to hold space and love, and that's what it's about. Mm. So, so the boys don't have anything to be worried about? Pet Petra, do you got anything? No, absolutely not. <laughs> For me, you know, the coming back into the feminine is also coming back into our intuition and our innate knowing. I grew up just very much in the mind, you know, like very much about like staying in line, being in status quo is a very masculine way of thinking and being and it was never really encouraged to explore who I am on the inside, what are your unique gifts, it's kind of like you got to be this way or it's not going to work out. And I see now that the world is awakening to our unique gifts and our ability to create things. Like, look at all the young entrepreneurs. Look at how the internet has changed self-expression. And we're coming back into our intuition. You know, it's like, it's everything because we're all connected and acknowledging the beautiful feminine aspects of ourselves, whether you're a man or a woman, brings us back into wholeness and into feeling. And into being connected to you know the earth, the plants, the sky, and each other from a heart space, not just from a mental space, because that's what causes the problems, the war, the black mentality. It's like if we really tune in to our feminine body, the yin, whatever you want to call it, that space that's a lot of times ignored. It's it's all within us. I think it's um, beautiful that men and women can both have like masculine and feminine energy, and yeah. goddess and god energy, and be open to exploring whatever's out there. There's men here today, there's men around always that are able to be open. It's so beautiful to see all these men come out as well, and, you know, like shining their feminine, no longer suppressing the feminine and seeing, you know, our emotional health as something unimportant. It's like, why was that so shame for so long that you can't talk about your feelings? You have to be the man of the household. It's like, that's old paradigm. <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be. And yeah. It's so amazing when men are connected to that. You know, they honor women better. They honor their mothers better. They communicate better. They honor themselves better. They understand themselves better. And they're hot. I want to add that. They're so hot. How hot is it? Feminine men, come on down. <laughs> Goddesses here first. Uh, <laughs> anything else, Michaela? Anything to add about and that? The Natasha sort of, too, my Natasha. Oh, Natasha, 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 Natasha. And I think a powerful piece about coming back to that intuition, that feeling, that innate nature that we all carry as men and women, feminine, masculine, complete, balanced, whole, integrated beings, is that it really opens up a space for us to come into the power of our uniqueness. And I think that really supports the dissolution, the transformation of that competition, manipulation, one thing is better than the other, I fit into this box, I don't fit into this box, from that innate feeling place of just pure nature, not one tree is like another tree, not one pine cone is going to be exactly like another pine cone, that space to just come into our own unique diversity. Yeah! yeah. I feel that my, my mission here is to remember that all of life is play, that it doesn't have to be so serious and so heavy. They're just having a good time and it's so important to play because we, we lose our humanness when we don't. We lose our youth, we lose sight of ourselves. And really, we're just beings that love to love and share and enjoy. Um, so we host monthly women's circles. We also host retreats called Wild Women's Weekend. And that is an opportunity to experience sisterhood like never before. And why I say that is because every retreat is so unique because People coming are unique. Everyone um, shares a gift that's never going to be the same. You know, we just really get to drop in and be ourselves, and we're just connecting back with our essence, connecting back with Mother Gaia, playing, singing, healing, supporting each other, getting raw, wild, and free. <laughs> we can ask for our goddess presence in public spaces now. We don't have to hide, and it feels good. It feels really good to see women growing into.
that incredible power that is so innate within them and I think Goddesses of Gaia really has created a loving platform for me to share my gifts and that's really, really special about this collective. Oh my gosh, get in on this! Get in on this! We are the Goddesses of Gaia! We are the Goddesses of Gaia! We are the Goddesses of Gaia! This is Lauren Abriel. Thanks for hanging out with the Goddesses today on VA. We are here recognizing the goddess in all of us. That means you too, fellas. Sending big goddess love to you all.